Hey, this is Val from Crisp. So whenever using the Crisp chat box on your website, you will notice that users can set their emails. So emails by default are not verified. So if I want to say that I'm, let's say, called Bill Gates, I can set Bill Gates' email in the chat box and try to be Bill Gates, you know? But I'm not Bill Gates. So whenever your support team is talking with someone, you actually want to make sure it's the person they state to be. Um, so CRISP has a feature for that called Identity Verification. So Identity Verification works uh, by using a private key that only you and CRISP know. In the case you have a dashboard, for instance, or an e-commerce, and you already have verified user accounts, so your users log into their accounts with their email and passwords, and then you can basically use this on your server to sign emails before submitting them to CRISP. So by signing the email with the private key only you and CRISP now, CRISP can then verify the signature and check that the email actually has not been forged by anyone else than you. So this feature is useful for security reasons whenever you have, like for instance, an e-commerce selling expensive products and people knowing you know like that they could actually contact your support uh, asking for instance to edit the shipping address for a product and redirect expensive product to their addresses so in this case you want that the buyers actually that contact your supports um, get identified as the real buyers and not someone trying to spoof their identity So before we start, we need to enable identity verification on your website. So click on settings, website settings, go to your setting, and then scroll down. It should be available in the advanced configuration, and then identity verification. So you should enable it, and it's generating your secret key. So this is your secret key, which you should never ever share with anyone else. It should be securely stored on your own server and never leaked to the front end. You should use this secret key to sign the email address of your users. So now that I enabled the identity verification, let me show you what impact it has on your Chris dashboard. So this is a conversation with someone which has no email. And this is a conversation with someone that has an email. As you can see, this appeared next to the email address of the user. So in this case, the identity of this person was not verified because it was not signed with your private key. So now that you know what identity verification is, let me show you a quick example of signing my own email identity and what impact it has on CRISP. So I designed a quick demo page here which has a crisp chat box. So the page has two buttons. The one button to set an email which is verified and one other to set an email which is not verified. So the email which is not verified will just be submitted without any verification signature. So first, let's review the docs for how to use verification. So you can find the identity verification docs on our crisp developer center website. So in the docs, we explain how to generate a signature. So in this example, we have our Node.js backend server called here with our secret key and a function to sign the email address. So the secret key is used in this function, which is passed an email address for a an user to create an hash map. So HMAC is a verification code that's computed using an hash function. Here, CRISP uses the secure SHA-256 method to generate a signature string. So the signature string will be the value that you will pass along with the email address to the CRISP chat box. Now that you know how identity verification works, Let's just play with some code. So I have my demo page code here. This is the button 
which adds a verified email address. So first off, uh, we need to compute the signature for the email address, which is passed as a second agreement for the user email event. So let's compute the signature. So I'm going back to my crisp app where I generated the private key here. So I'm copying the key. So in this example, I will not be showing you any backend code to generate this signature automatically. I will all do it manually to show you how it works. So I will be using an online HMAC generator for the test purpose of this video. So I selected the message digest algorithm to be SHA-256, okay? So the secret key is the one that Crisp has generated for me. It's here. And then the string is simply my email address that I want to sign. Okay, so the computed HMAC value is that one. So this computed value depends on each email address that I've put in here. So the secret key doesn't change, but my user email address changes, which will make this value also change. So let's inject this into my code. Okay. So now I'm going back to my browser, to the demo. So I have a crisp conversation here. Let's just try to say, hey, then I'm going back to crisp and checking it here. It doesn't have any email. Let's set an email, which will be verified. Okay, I just set the email and you can see that the email has been set and it's marked as verified because the computed HMAC digest value is exactly the same for crisp and for the one I computed. So now let me show you what happens whenever I set an email address that's not verified. So I will set the same email address for a different conversation. So let me clear the session, okay? And say, hey, a second time. Okay, so this is the new conversation here. I will set the email in a way that's not verified. Okay, you can see the email has been set, but could not be verified. So whenever your support team actually sees this unverified tag, it should not trust the sender of the messages and ask for more identity verification. On the other hand, if your support teams see the green icon, they can trust that the person talking with them is the real one. Thank you for watching this video. So as you've seen, it's fairly easy to verify your users' identities on Crisp. It will make your customer support life way easier because they don't need to ask for identity verification documents for your users and you can trust what Crisp shows to you. Please be reminded that the signature secret should only be known to your server and Crisp. It should never, never ever be served on the front end because the signature should only compute it on the back end. So if your secret leaks, you can change it anytime by going to Crisp and rolling the secret.